This video was made to review and criticize the material in it and is not intended to be a substitute for the original work. I do not own the material or any part of the show in this video. Please support HBO by watching the full episode and show on HBO or any other platform that legally streams it. Links to the official sites are available in the description box below. This video is intended to fall under the general guidelines of fair use and is edited as to not compete with the original work. As an aspiring writer and artist, my goal is to comment, review, criticize and learn from the work. Thank you for understanding. Welcome to Watcher. Today we're watching episode 46. But before we begin, please don't leave any spoilers in the comment section. I'd greatly appreciate that. And most importantly, thank you so much for the support and for joining me on this adventure. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoy the content. I truly appreciate that. So is there anything I need to say this time? Maybe. I suppose it will take a bit longer for Jorah and Tyrion to get to Daenerys now. If they even get there, there is a high chance that it won't happen this season at least. But the main question is, what will happen to Jorah? Is there anyone who can cure him? I guess we'll have to find out. On the other side of the world, Jon is trying to make peace with the wildlings. Personally, I believe that's the correct move. I just hope it will work, cause there are a lot of grudges to deal with. And as we saw, most of the people aren't fans of this, especially not Alistair and his guys, and Oliver, who might come to hate Jon because of this. Then we have Stannis, who's heading south towards Winterfell. I'm looking forward to his battle with the Boltons, and he better succeed this time. Also, when is the wedding between Sansa and Ramsay? There is one thing I fear, that Sansa is going to have a child with blood Ramsay. That fool is not as kind and understanding as Tyrion was. I bet he'll do anything to succeed you're a kid. Brienne, please hurry. I don't think I have much more to add currently, so let's watch today's episode. Yeah, what's up with cleaning all these people, these bodies? I still haven't figured out what they are doing here, but Arya is on board with the training. Arya has had such a crazy adventure so far. Maybe even the craziest. What are they doing with the bodies? Great question. You will know I also want to know. When? When it's time. Who are you? No one. No one. Get back to work. Well, who are you? I'm from Westeros. My stepmother didn't want any rivals for her precious daughter. So they got rid of you. My father was widowed again. All right. So, New besties. Is that true? Or a lie? Why is she so intense? I feel like Arya right now. A bit impatient. Who are you? Where did you come from? I'm the youngest daughter of a great lord, Eddard Stark. He died in battle. Ouch. How the yeah, hell does he know that? A man called the Hound, Sandor Clegane. I wanted him to suffer. I hated him. Oh, really? No, you did not. That's not a lie. But it is, apparently. Arya, we can see right through you, and this jacking guy is not playing around. You either want this or you don't. We are traveling together in each other's company. Therefore, Do you ever shut up. <laughs> this pairing will be interesting. You know, I love conversations like this. His father was a good man, cared about the people under his command. That's why I loved him. We shall never see his like again. You didn't know. He looks sad. He was murdered by his own men. That must hurt hearing that. About your father. I do feel bad for Jorah. Feels like he's lost in life. Well, he kinda is. What's happening? Do people come here to die? She suffers every day of her life. Well, what can I do for you, dude? I'd be so overwhelmed. I used to be like you. I was sick. But my father never gave up on me. So he brought me here. Oh, yeah. She's lying right now. I drank the water from his fountain. Dude, you're becoming too good. Of a liar right now. Drink. Man, she is stone cold. So people come here to die. What a depressing place. Did she pass the first level? Are you ready to get some answers? Wait, are those the heads of all the dead people? The many-faced god. The girl ready. I don't know. Could be about her ears, her nose, her tongue. This is pretty bizarre. Her hopes and dreams, her loves and hates, all mm -hmm. that makes a girl who is not ready to become no one. Arya, is it time to commit? 
But she's ready to become someone else. She's ready to become someone else. So a woman who has not spent a single day of her adult life in Westeros becomes the ruler of Westeros? That's justice? Yeah, let's not be deluded here. It's a slave ship. Why are they anchored? They probably came ashore. Water. For... All right. You look strong enough. What about the dwarf? Cut his throat. Wait, 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 wait. Let's discuss this. And then chop off his cock. Well, cock has magic powers. Man, what the hell? You are looking at one of the great warriors in the Seven Kingdom. Him. <laughs> Jorah is like, what? What are you talking about? I killed a Dothraki blood rider in single combat. We remember that. A good fighter. Put a sword in my hand. I'll prove my worth. Tyrion talking his way out of things. That's his special talent. You would have avoided all of this if you stayed with Varys though. Lord Baelish. Yes. The city has changed since you were here last. Well done. Step carefully, Lord Baelish. You'll find there's little tolerance for flesh peddlers in the new King's Landing. We both battle fantasies, brother Lancelot. I actually love Baelish, I don't know why. But he's just so epic. You don't want the smoke, Lancel. Oh, Sir Earl won't tolerate this insult. Sir Loras was promised to me. Instead, he chose the company of boys. One's choice of companion is a curious thing. Cersei. But, uh, I feel like things will backfire. So the knights of the Vale fight for their king. Hmm. About that. And I have always counseled loyalty to the throne. It's so fun listening to him. You once charged me with finding Arya Stark. To my shame, I failed you. But I have found Sansa Stark. What are you doing, Baelish? He truly loves chaos. That's Thanos and Rue's battle. Cersei, things aren't going that well. The way he is toying with her right now. Name me Warden of the North. Oh my god, what are you talking about? And I'll know you're a man of your word. When I see Sansa Stark's head on a spike. That won't happen. So many lies. So many epic lies. You are going to be my wife. I am going to be your husband. And these words will haunt us for the rest of the show. Lannister and the Mark Tell. They have no idea how dangerous that is. We must protect them. I like him. That's the water gardens. Once we've got the princess, then what? I like to improvise. Man. That's reckless. Team Elaria versus Team Jamie. Unbroken. And here they are. I don't even know. Like. Oberyn put himself in that situation. He didn't have to. So what are you guys trying to do right now? And there she is. Yeah, I'm telling you guys. I think she likes it here. Uncle Jamie? Well, he isn't stupid. Do something stupid. That was something stupid. He'll be fine, I promise, but we have to... Oh my god. And these girls don't play around, we know that. And Jamie isn't exactly a fighter anymore. Marcella is like, what is going on? I was living peacefully. What do you mean take her? Let her go. Good, good. Now both of you are in trouble. When you were whole. It would have been a good fight. I knew it. Of course. Yeah. That's what you wanted. Oh, you can smell the shit from five miles away. She is back. The greatest character ever. So what's the plan, Lady Olena? <laughs> this will be great. Put the pen down, dear. We both know you're not writing anything. Ah, yes. The famous and tart tongued Queen of Thorns. And the famous tart Queen Cersei. <laughs> Don't start it with Lady Olena, she will own you. She is on a completely different level to you. Has the crown suddenly stopped needing the troops' gold and wheat? What I was saying. Our alliance with House Tyrell remains. Do you expect the hmm? alliance to continue after you've thrown our future into prison? I'm loving this. I'm loving this so much. I didn't trust your father, but I respected him. He was no fool. You on the other hand? The High Septon's call for an inquest, not a trial. Cersei... This is dangerous for you. Lady Olena knows about what you've been up to. Do you deny all the charges against you? Old man, who the hell do you think you are? You never lay with Renly Baratheon. Never. It's none of your business. That's quite enough of that. Faith calls Queen Marjorie forward. Neither kings nor queens are exempt 
from testimony at a holy inquest. And Cersei, you are up next. Let's see what they want first. This dude is getting a bit too brave. Someone needs to slap him up. Do you swear that your brother is innocent of these charges against him? Yes, I swear. Uh-oh. You know this man? You wouldn't. He is Solaris Tyrell at a high garden. We engaged in intimate relations. He's a liar. Is there anyone else who can support your claim? Yes, Queen Marjorie. She walked in on us once. Not long ago. Loras. The faith is satisfied. There is enough evidence to bring a formal trial. Take her. No. Tommen. Tommen. I am the queen. You are losing my respect right now. But I kinda love this for the story, cause look at Lady Olena. She is like Cersei, you have started a war. The alliance is over between the Lannisters and the Tyrells. Lord Ramsay. No, not you. You are trouble. Sansa, you need to be careful around people here. I don't want to end up like, like the others. She is trying to intimidate Sansa. Man, I have to say that I love this episode so far. My favorite one of the yeah. season, easily. What was your name again? Miranda. And how long have you loved him, Miranda? <laughs> yes! I came along and ruined it. <laughs> That was great. I'm Sansa Stark of Winterfell. Know your place. And you can't frighten me. Oh my god, Sansa the goat. Let's go. A favorite character confirmed. Lovely. I'm telling you. What an episode. Theon. Well, you look kinda nice. If you please, my lady. Will you take my arm? No. Oh yeah. She believes what happened is true. You think I care what he does to you? She's going to marry freaking Ramsay. I was hoping it would take some more time until we got here. Lady Sansa, will you take this man? Nah, I'm out. What if she said that? I take this man. Look at that creepy smile. Why are you still a virgin, afraid of dwarves? Well, Tyrion was so much nicer than you. Ever will be. Lying to your husband on his wedding night. That would be a bad way to start a marriage. He's starting with his games. Dropping the act. Take off your clothes. I knew that this fool wouldn't wait a second. You watch. Ramsay or Joffrey? Who was the worst for Sansa? Oh my god, that is so disturbing. Her mind must be blank right now. You've known Sansa since she was a girl. Now watch her become a woman. Well, I'm also getting a bit annoyed at Tim right now. Wouldn't it be better to just stab the freaking hell out of Ramsay and then die? Stab yourself in the heart? I'm telling you guys, I would not have survived for long in that world. I would have died as a kid probably, saying something stupid or doing something stupid to someone important. Man, what an episode. Alright, so this was a brilliant episode in my opinion. The previous build-ups paid off. We got so much great content this time. First off, we got to catch up with Arya and her training. And according to Jacken, she's ready to become someone else. Whatever that means. I'm looking forward to her development will be interesting to see what she becomes. Then Tyrion and Jorah found themselves in a very difficult situation. Tyrion is an expert at that. This is what happens when you don't listen to Varys. It would all have been avoided if he stayed close to Varys. But nope, here we are, on an adventure with Jorah and some random dudes. It will be interesting to see how they handle it from now on. And over at Dorne, it went exactly as I expected it to go. I'm glad it turned out this way. Very realistic, and I must say that Prince Doran has been awesome so far. He seems like a rational leader. My question now is what the consequences for both parties will be. But overall, it looks like the Lannisters are over. And speaking of the Lannisters, mainly Cersei. She's about to start a war with not only Dorne, but also the Tyrells. Lady Olenna is about to dunk on her real bad. Tonight I'm playing with myself to the thought of Lady Olenna showing Cersei who the true gamer is. I need some clean sheets, some chocolate and a couple of roses. I'm going to have some great me time. And that high bird creep needs to get slapped up by someone. And so does Lancel. Now let's talk about some of the characters. Let's start with Baelish. He's everywhere. 
toying around with everyone. The way he controls the events in Westeros is epic. He's my guy, the type of villain I love. Warden of the North? Wow. And also, poor Sansa. Once again. This is beyond disturbing. I think I actually hate Ramsay more than I hated Joffrey. What just happened will change Sansa. Theon? You need to tell her the truth secretly. You both need allies. Why not have each other? This episode had so many great scenes. It's hard to pick one. So I'll go for two this time. I really loved the conversation Cersei had with both Lady Olenna and with Baelish. As you all know, that's the kind of stuff I love. Would it be strange and unfair if I gave this episode a 10 out of 10? Cause I really enjoyed it. Alright then, a 9 then. So far the episode of the season in my opinion. My prediction for the near future is simple. Lady Olenna is coming for Cersei. Believe me, things will come back to haunt Cersei. Anyway guys, I guess that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you wanna see more. And leave a like if you enjoy the content. I truly appreciate that. Take care. And see you next time.